Okay, in this problem, we, it's an application uh, of uh, calculus for um, business. Um, we have the um, sales, the sales vary with time t. So S of one is 2000 divided by four plus 0 0.3. S of two is whatever. So this is the function. So t is in time measure from the year 2010. So S of one means 2011. So it say at what rate the chain, uh, at what rate were the sales changing in the year 2012. In the year 2012, t is equal to, t equal to. And the rate of change of the sales respect to the time is the rate of change of the function. The function is 2000 t divided by four plus 0 0.3 t. So doing the derivative of this function and evaluate the derivative at t equal to, I know the rate of change. How many dollars per t is in year? How many dollars per year is going to, to what is the sales? If it's 20, 20 dollars per year is the increasing sales that they will have. I hope it's an increasing sale. Okay, well, let's go to do so. This is a problem to make the derivative of this function. So uh, should we do the quotient rule? Yes, we can do the quotient rule. So, or we can do the, yes, the quotient. So the derivative of this is the derivative of the numerator respect to t, 2000, multiplied by the denominator 4 plus 0 0.3t minus, 2000 t multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of the denominator of the 4 is 0. The derivative of 0 0.3 t is 0 0.3. Divide by the denominator square. 4 plus 0 0.3 t square. Okay, what is that? What is that? Is 8000. 8,000 plus um, uh, 0 0.6, uh, 600 t, 600 t minus, minus 600 t, right? Minus 600 t, mm -hmm. divide by 4 plus 0 0.3 t squared. And um, let me check, just a moment, 2,000 multiplied by 0.3t is the same, 600t. Okay, so this would be 8,000 divided by 4 plus 0.3t. And at t equal 2, I think, t equal 2, the rate of change of the sale respect to the time t at t equal to will be 8,000 divided by 4 plus 0 0.3 multiplied by 2 squared. Or will be 8,000 divided by 0 0.3 by 2 is 0 0.6 is 4.6 squared or 8,000 divided by 4.6 squared is 21.16, and the result will be 379.14. What? What? This is the slope. Is the rate of change, the rate of change of the sales respect to the time t and the rate of change respect to the measure in t equal two years. So what is that? It's the rate of change of the sale. So it's money, money, dollars, dollars, you sell dollars per year. And because 
Uh, S is measured, I think, that I read in thousand. S is measured in thousand of dollar. It means that you are at the position of selling three hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars per year. If you keep going in a rectilinear line after t equal to, you will be selling three hundred and seventy nine dollar per year. Okay, that's all. Sorry, sorry. The question B say, what happened with the sales when T approach in the long term, when T approach to infinity, what happened to the sales? So we need to find the limit when the times goes to infinity of the function S of T. This is equal to the limit when the time T goes to infinity of 2000 T divide by 4 plus 0 0.3t. How we do this limit? We divide numerator and denominator by t. So the numerator is divided by t and the denominator is divided by t. And now we can cancel this t with this t, this t with this t. And we can say that the last t approach infinity the limit when t approach infinity of 2000 divided by 0 0.3 plus when t approach infinity 4 divided by t approach 0 so it's 2000 divided by 0 0.3 or 2 multiplied by 10 3 divided by 0 0.3 which is 3 10 minus 1 or oh, two third, ten, three multiplied by ten to rise to the one, or oh, two third, ten to the four, or oh, ten thousand, twenty thousand, ten to the four is twenty thousand divided by three, or twenty thousand divided by three is like uh, seven, six thousand something, twenty thousand divided by three. And this is so the sale S of T will do like this. We'll do shh. and as the time T runs to the infinity, this height will be maintained almost fixed, and there will be what we call an horizontal asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote the value is twenty thousand divided by three. So this is the height at the infinity. Uh, so they will sell the same amount every year. After certain times, they will sell almost the same amount every year. They will not increase the amount. So it means that the derivative of n respect to the t as t goes to infinity is zero. And what is the derivative of, N of S respect to the T? The derivative of S respect to the T is here, is here, is here. At T goes to infinity, this goes to zero. So the slope is zero. Oh, you can see here that the limit when T goes to infinity, this denominator will be very, very big, and the square will be bigger and 8,000 divided by something very, very big will go to zero. So the slope will go to zero. So that's why I wrote this graph, where the slope goes to zero as, as, as the time t approach to infinity. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's all. Okay, let's go to solve this problem. It say uh, there is an owner that uh, um, produce perfume bottles. So the number of bottles, P of P, let's go to call it N. The numbers of bottles that he can, uh, the number of bottles that he can produce at the price P is N of P. A P dollar is the price five dollar per bottle. 
If P is 5, it's 5 dollars per bottle. So this is the number of bottle, and the number of bottle N, N of P 500 divided by P plus 3. And the cost of the uh, per bottle uh, to produce uh, um, at the price P, bottle per month at that cost, at the, the, costal, the total cost is 0 0.2 P squared plus 3P plus 200. So it says express the profit, the profit of uh, as a function of the price P. If you sell a higher profit, you may if you sell a high price, you may have a bigger profit, but it depends on this function uh, that is always for bigger quantity, for higher price, the cost is higher, so you have to be careful. Um, because if you put higher price, your cost will be higher. Um, so we have to relate this. So what money will come to your pockets? If you sell N bottles at the price P, the money that will come to your bottle is N multiplied by P. Is the number of bottles that you sell multiplied by the dollars per bottle that, they, that is the price P. And this will be dollars because bottle with bottle will cancel and will have dollar. So N multiplied by P is the revenue and the profit is the revenue minus the cost. So you sell, let's say, five bottles at the price of three, you, your pocket and to your pockets comes three bottles at the price of five you will to your pocket will come fifteen dollars and if the cost uh, at this price the total cost of the three bottle at this price is twelve dollar you will make three dollar of profits but here the p the price is changing so you have to be careful because it's not so simple. So the function that relate with the profit as a function of the price P that you sell is N multiplied by P minus the cost to produce at the price P. So N is 500 divided by P plus 3 and P is multiplied by P minus C of P is given by the problem. So it's the cost to produce at the price P. So the profit at the price P will be, uh, doing a little bit of algebra, will be this expression. And what you have to do is to evaluate the slope at the price P, little p, equal 12. So we do it is just to, to do the, here we do the quotient rule. When you do the quotient rule, you will find this expression is the derivative of the numerator, one multiply by the denominator p plus 3 minus the derivative of the numerator 1 multiply by the sorry the derivative of the denominator 1 multiply by the denominator p divide by the denominator square so it will be the derivative of this expression will be this one the derivative of 0 0.2 p square will be 2 times 0 minus 0 0.4 p. The derivative of 3 p will be minus 3 and the derivative of 200 is 0. So this expression can be written like this and if you make the derivative this will be um, and you evaluate this derivative at p equal 12 you have to see if the slope of the profit with the price is, is positive or negative. So we, we make the numbers. It will be, it will be, let's go to see if the slope is positive. 1,500 divided by 15 squared. 15 by 15, 15 squared. Minus 0 0.4 multiplied by 12 is 1.2 is 4.8. 4.8 minus three. So it will be, it will be, 15 by 100 in the numerator multiply by 15 multiply by 15 minus 7.8 minus 7.8 so it will be equal to 115 will go 
uh, with the other 15, so it will be 100 divided by 15, minus 7.8. And 100 divided by 15 is, is 8. 8, 9, let's go to do it. It's 6.6, 6.6. 6.6 minus 7.8, it will be minus, so the slope will be negative. So he'll better sell at price P less than 12. So the slope will be minus 1.2. So this is the change in the, the profit in the profit per price. So the change in the profit per price. So this minus 120, what it makes? Well, I leave you to find the unit of this minus 120 and to give the interpretation of the profit. The profit is negative at t equal 12 and the variation of the profit respect to the price p equal 12 so let's go to make a picture so this is the profit p as a function of p and you when you are at the point 12 12 dollars per bottle the profit is negative and the negative is Minus 1.20. Minus 1.20. What? Dollars? Per? Per what? Okay, let me know.